this week looks like we've got a little bit of the ongoing effect of this really strong full moon showing up um it's certainly been quite an intense one as far as i can feel it um so there will be a little bit of an ongoing effect but it looks like a pretty good week all in all Hi and welcome back. My name's Francisca. If you haven't watched my videos before, I make the weekly pick a card tarot readings. I also make other spiritual videos on a variety of subjects such as twin flames, spiritual development, Blu-ray mm -hmm. beings, and yeah, all sorts of different spiritual subjects on this channel. So this week, from what I can see here, looks like quite an um, interesting week. There's quite a bit going on. And I think we, I don't know, to me this full moon felt very, very kind of intense. <laughs> um, so yeah, there will be a little bit of a, you know, flow on effect during the week from some of that. So yeah, so as we look at the coming week for row one, we've got Justice. Justice is um, not like you're going to go to court or get arrested or anything like that. It's more like a higher justice. And, you know, you're working with the energy and you're, yeah, what you're putting out there is positive. It's good. You're going to get some good rewards from that. It's like good karma, so to speak. Um, so you've got, got some nice things coming up this week. For the good things you've done, you're getting a bounce back, you know, whatever we put out to the universe comes back to us. So if we've been putting out positive, loving, good actions, we generally get quite a bit of that coming back. Um, the universe doesn't actually judge what it brings us at all. It's us who does that, so, but it, it will match energy with energy like attracts like. So in this case, it looks very, very positive for row ones. So during the middle of the week on Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the King of Cups, which is lovely. And that can mean a man around you or in your life. Um, it doesn't have to be a partner. It can be your dad. It can be a friend or somebody at work. But it's indicating that somebody with really good qualities that's around you on Wednesday or Thursday, um, keep an eye out for them so that you don't miss that because I feel this person has got something important to impart on you, some good advice or some good ideas or suggestions. So yeah, if you need advice, ask somebody who's got that kind of energy, a sort of a sense of quiet strength. They're not pushy. They're not know-it-all. They've got a kindness to them. So that's yeah, a really good sign. It can also mean that you're embodying that kind of strength yourself. It can be about you and who you're becoming. And this is showing us that it's a good, solid strength. Once again, it's not about ego. It's about an inner knowing that who you are can handle life and get on with it. So very, very positive midweek. It looks good. It looks good for connections if you're looking for love. That could be the kind of man, yeah, you're going to attract next. So that looks pretty awesome. So both Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got the Three of Pentacles, which is all about connections, teamwork, doing things together, connecting together. Um, okay, sorry, car just went past connecting together, working together on something. So if you've got new joint projects with other people you want to get into, this weekend's a great time. Whatever you're doing, you're going to connect with other people and you're going to harmonize well and kind of be on the same wavelength. It's all about connection, partnership, cooperation, community, working together, completing something, um, all of those influences come in, come in over the weekend for row ones. It's, it's wonderful. So if you've got the opportunity to join in with something that you feel strongly about, the weekend's a wonderful time to do it with other like-minded people. And it is all about like-minded people. It's not just about doing it for the heck of it, but actually connecting with people you're on the same wavelength with, with, so very, very good for that. So if there are any interesting events or that sort of 
sit right with you um, great time to do that if you've got a project to do with your family you all need to get together and get something done fantastic weekend for that in a relationship it can mean that the two of you tackle something together work on something together and work well together so very very good so for row two we start the week Monday and Tuesday with the page of pentacles which is curiosity and learning and in this instance I feel it's about getting some new information a new deeper level of understanding of your life of your purpose what it's about what's going on around you the people around you you might learn something new about somebody you care about it's all about curiosity um, new information and yeah, a higher level of understanding and having that curiosity to discover, to delve deeper, to look, um, to discover and all of those things. So a really good week for that. Monday and Tuesday seem to be full of information for row twos. So you could be, yeah, learning something new. So by Wednesday and Thursday, there's quite an interesting follow on effect from this. We've got the four of pentacles. Row two is all pentacles this week, which is really unusual we've got um with four of pentacles so that's indicating that you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed you've been learning a lot your mind's been very stimulated and you might just need some quiet time you're also learning about personal boundaries and keeping them healthy you don't need to let people wander all over you or dedicate you know dictate what you do with your time and things like that it's about setting healthy boundaries and that can happen in the start of a relationship too or as a relationship transforms is where you know when it's new at the very beginning people are happy to spend as much time as possible together and it's very exciting but at some point in time the rest of your life needs to be you know pulled back into what you do so it might be time about just saying look um I'd love to spend time with you today, but I've actually got to study or work or do something you need to do. I'll catch up with you later or make another arrangement. Family, same thing. Families can be quite funny. Sometimes they just decide what you should be doing <laughs> or what they want you to do. So, yeah, good time to say, well, actually, no, I need to do this or that. So setting boundaries. Um, also a little bit of a caution not to over splurge financially just yeah doesn't mean you have to live like a pauper but just think about what you spend your money on and by the weekend we've got the queen of pentacles the third pentacles card for row twos which is earth it's our groundedness and the physical reality the material world and things like that it's of the earth element so it's all about feeling really great about where you're at enjoying your environment being happy in your home feeling abundant feeling grateful and abundant and happy with what you have in your life and the people in your life you know if you've got good connections or a good solid partner that you can count on those will make you feel very grounded and solid in your reality too so and it's a good time to enjoy that a little bit you know enjoy the goodness of life whereas there was a little bit of a caution not to splurge too much during the week the weekend is actually a time to maybe treat yourself a little bit nothing over the top but something nice that you've been wanting to do or yeah take yourself out for lunch or go for lunch with friends or anything like that so and it's also about the quality of what you're doing like sharing a meal with people you care about and things like that enjoying the abundance of what life has given us so that's really the theme for the weekend for row twos for row threes we've got monday and tuesday the chariot which is all go um lots of action lots of activity busy time lots of forward movement you're going to make a lot of progress on Monday and Tuesday it's like full steam ahead nothing much can hold you back and yeah in a more literal sense with the tarot sometimes it can indicate an actual vehicle a car or a vehicle which is making me chuckle because my starter motor is at the auto sparkies till early next week so I'll be picking that up and paying the bill well the starter motor so 
yeah I think in my case it would indicate it's actually maybe about my vehicle <laughs> and getting mobile again so yeah but in most cases it's just about forward moving energy strong energy taking you forwards you're very determined you can get a heck of a lot done on Monday and Tuesday so if there's something you really need to tackle to put your full energy and drive into that is the time to do it also around people like loved ones and partners and things you'll be full of energy very lively um just remember that they might not be quite as up as you are you know they might be in a calmer mood so yeah keep an eye on that that you're not overwhelming them because it really looks like a blast of good energy for row threes of mondays and tuesdays Wednesday and Thursday is the Page of cup, Cups, which is emotion and feeling and creativity. So a very good time for creativity, for emotions, for feelings, for love, for connection with people we love. Um, and also imagination and dreams. We need to have imagination and dreams or we would never know where we were going or what we were doing. They're an essential part of our being. Um, I don't think we'd ever have a light bulb if people didn't have imagination and dreams. You know, somebody came up with that. So give yourself a bit of time for that too. Um, it's our dreams that create our future, our ideas, our daydreams of what we would like, what we imagine we'd want our future to be like. So use that. It's powerful in the law of attraction to, to allow yourself to do that. So, but for love, it's absolutely fantastic. It's a really good time of connecting and somebody may just, you know, do something extra sweet or extra romantic. It can be a gesture of love or connection. So very, very good for that midweek for row three. So <laughs> here comes Miss Feeney. You want to be in the video? Yeah? Namara? Come and say hi then. No, no, she doesn't like that. I've hung this blue cloth up. So anyway, by the weekend, we've got the King of Pentacles, which is very similar to row two. It's very much about material things and feeling good and feeling happy with what you have and what you've created and what you've worked for. Here she is, my little monkey. She's come to say hi. She'll probably walk all over the cards in a minute. It's one of your favorite tricks. So anyway, we've got the King of Pentacles for row three. And yeah, appreciate what you have. It's a good time for abundance, for wealth. You might get a financial little bit of a lift, a little bit of a bonus. You, anyway, you're feeling good about where you're at with that. So financially, it looks like a good time. It's also a good time to just enjoy what you do have and also the people around you i mean ultimately what matters isn't the things we have it's more the people around us but this is looking at the things we do have so there might be something nice coming your way some new surprise or something you're doing in your environment or your home that you've been wanting to do now is a good time for a bit of a um refresh or redecorate or the cat's now playing all over the place. <laughs> so anyway, appreciate what you have. Do something nice for yourself like row twos. Have a nice meal out. Let yourself have something that you've been wanting to have for a long time. Um, and connect on that level. It can also mean that, you know, you, you and your partner or whoever you live with or by yourself, you renovate or change something around in your home and that you've got the means and the funds to be able to do that. So very, very good card for business too. So if you've got a business, things are looking good, things are looking bright in your career, things are looking good and positive. So you're making good headway. Give yourself a big pat on the back. So <laughs> anyway, my loopy cats are taking the corner of the mat down there. Um, anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, I wish you lots of love, enjoy it, here in New Zealand, spring's definitely on its way, it's really nice that it's not so cold anymore, I'm looking forward to getting outside a bit this weekend, so anyway, lots of love to you all, and please like and subscribe, 
and I'll see you all in my next video. God yeah.